This movie documents the research in robotic citrus harvesting at the University of Florida. The robotic harvesting system is composed of a control center and a mechanical harvester. The mechanical harvester is a combination of a hydraulic positioning platform and a 7 degree of freedom robotic manipulator. The end effector of the manipulator is a combination of a pneumatic gripper, a color camera, and an ultrasonic rain sensor. The control center houses all of the computers and electronics needed for controlling the harvesting system. These are the controllers for the robotic manipulator. Located under the desktop is the additional computer system for image processing and overall system control. The control center also has a window that provides a view of the robotic harvester. One of the most difficult errors in automated citrus harvesting is fruit detection. Within this area, scene lighting or illumination is a major concern. This image is of a uniformly illuminated scene and allows for consistent coloring for both the fruit and the trees. However, due to the complex conditions encountered in an outdoor environment, the lighting conditions are constantly changing. This image shows the results of a scene that is poorly illuminated. The lack of light alters the perceived color of the fruit and causes it to appear darker. Too much illumination causes the fruit to take on a brighter color. This can also cause intensity saturation in the imaging equipment and can be seen as white areas on the fruit. In the harvesting environment, it is common to have a variety of lighting throughout the same scene. The harvesting system must be able to consistently and accurately detect the fruit throughout all of these lighting conditions. The next clip demonstrates our detection algorithm's ability to handle these conditions. The controls in the dialog box are adjusting the brightness and contrast of the image before image processing. The detected fruit locations are marked by yellow crosshairs. The image actually reaches a point where it is impossible to detect the color of the fruit with the human eye. However, the image processing algorithms can still properly detect the fruit. The other primary factor in fruit detection is the shape of the fruit. Due to the complex harvesting environment, the simple round shape of the citrus is not always easily discernible. Most commonly, the fruit is partially hidden by leaves or branches. This causes the outline of the fruit to become erratic and looking for simple round shapes is not possible. This image shows the ability of our algorithms to find the center of the fruit even though it has been partially occluded. Another problem is that citrus commonly grows in clusters and this property creates two problems. It makes it difficult to find the shape of individual fruit since the fruit are practically the same color. This means that there is very little color contrast between the fruit and it becomes hard to detect where one fruit stops and the next one begins. Also, within the cluster it is vital to know the arrangement of the fruit. This is important so that the harvester does not try to pick a fruit that is located behind another fruit. This situation could easily lead to an errant harvesting attempt. This image shows the ability of our algorithms to find the center of individual fruit even though they are clustered together. The last segment of this movie is dedicated to displaying the robotic harvesting system in action. Starting at a position that gives the camera a large field of view of the tree, the system selects a fruit to be harvested. The robot then orients the end effector to the fruit. The robot then moves towards the desired fruit. When the end effector reaches a predetermined range from the fruit, the orientation of the camera is altered for a different perspective. This step allows for the use of an algorithm to determine the exact range to the fruit. Several different shape-based algorithms are then used to determine the exact location of the fruit. The robot then positions the gripper to the desired location. The gripper then closes and the fruit is removed from the tree. This next clip is a good example of harvesting clustered fruit. In this frame you can see where the image processing algorithms have determined the three individual fruit and which one should be harvested.